Hello everyone, my name is Monica Bhushan and today we are starting lecture number 3 of linear algebra. In today's class, we are going to see algebra of matrices. Okay, so what does it mean? What is algebra of matrices? So under this topic, we are going to see the scalar multiple of a matrix. Okay, fine. Then we are going to see the addition and subtraction. Okay, addition and subtraction of two matrices. And then we are going to see the multiplication of two matrices. Okay. So last two classes we have seen the matrices. We have understood that what is matrix, the types and even how to find the determinant of matrix. Fine. And today we are going to see some algebra of matrices. So here is the scalar multiple of the matrix. If A is any matrix and K is any scalar. The matrix obtained by multiplying every element of A by K is called the scalar multiple of matrix. Here is the example of the matrix. This matrix is what? The order of matrix is what? Two rows and three columns. So we will write two cross three. This matrix is two cross three matrix. And then if I have to find that three A, what is three A or any other number? Okay, so what is three A? So to get the answer of three A, just we are going to multiply this 3 to each and every element of the matrix. Okay, only this is the answer. So we are going to see the answer is 6, then 9, 15, minus 3, 12 and then 18. Okay, fine. Now this is half A. So half of A is what? The same thing, right? If it is 2, so 2 by uh, 2, even 3 by 2, 5 by 2, same thing is written here. So this way we find the scalar multiple of matrix and why we are seeing these topics, we will be seeing how to find the rank of the matrix in coming classes. So to find the rank of matrix, we have to deal with scalar multiple of matrices. Okay, now the addition and subtraction of two matrices, you must be knowing these things just to brush up. If two matrices are given to you, okay, this is the matrix A and this is the matrix B. And the order is 2 cross 2, order is 2 cross 2. Okay, fine. So we have to find A plus B or A minus B or any combination. Okay, 2A plus 3B, A plus half B. But we have the criteria for that, the necessary condition. Okay, the necessary condition for addition and subtraction of two matrices are what? The number of rows and number of columns for each matrix should be same. The dimensions of both matrices should be same. Okay, so dimensions are same. Then we are going to say that we can perform addition or subtraction of two matrices. Okay, so this is the order 2 cross 2. This is the order 2 cross 2. So it is possible. Fine. So for that, what we are going to do? We are going to add the corresponding elements of each and every matrices. Okay, so that means this element minus 1 is what this element is. Suppose the elements I am denoting with small a. So, a i j is what? a i j is nothing but a 1 1. That means first row, first column. So, here a 1 1 is minus 1. And what about here this a 1 1? So, this a 1 1 is 6. So, if I am going to add these a and b, so that means I am going to add minus 1 and 6. That means 5 will be written at this place. Okay. This is again this matrix A i j is nothing but A 1 1. Fine. So what should I write here? So this will be the corresponding element should get added. So 4 plus 3 will be written here. Similarly, the corresponding elements of both matrices are 5 and 5 at the location. What is the location here? This is your A. 2, why? Because this 2 is the row and the column is 1, A, 2, 1. For this matrix, if I am writing, suppose I have written down A, suppose this is B, okay? So, B, 2, 1, okay? So, B, 2, 1 is 5. So, we are going to write here 5 plus 5, that is 10 and this is 4 minus 4 is 0, okay? Now, if I have to perform A minus B, same thing, just I have to, instead of addition, I have to do the subtraction here. So, minus 1 minus 6 will give you minus 7 and so on. Fine. Now, how to get this 2a plus 3b? So, first I am going to perform the scalar multiple of matrix A. Okay, what is your 2a? 2a is nothing but you are going to multiply 2 in each and every element of the matrix. Okay, so here this is your minus 2, then 8, then 
minus 10 no not minus plus 10 and then this is your 2 4 this is 8 okay now what is your 3b 3b again the same thing you are going to multiply 3 to each and every element of this matrix b so it will be your 18 then 9 then 15 and then this is nothing but your minus 12 so the very first element of this 2a plus 3b will be what here you are going to write the addition of these two corresponding elements so minus 2 plus 18 will be 16 so this is written here fine similarly you are going to write here so you can see what is the answer for a plus half b okay okay so this is the summation or addition and difference of two matrices so be careful that your matrix need not be square matrix okay your matrix can be rectangular matrix but the order of both matrices should be same, right? Same dimension of matrices, you can perform addition and subtraction, okay? Now, here is the product of two matrices. So, to get the product of two matrices, you have again one necessary condition, okay? The condition is, suppose this is the matrix A, this is the matrix B and you want to perform product of AB. So, fine. For that, what you have to consider very first, you have to know what is the order of this matrix A. So, order is what? 2 cross 3. Fine, no? Now, here what is the order? 3 rows are there and 2 columns are there. Okay. Now, to perform the product of 2 matrices or to perform the multiplication of 2 matrices, the number of columns of first matrix and the number of rows of second matrix should be same. If these two things will be same, then only you can perform the multiplication of two matrices. Okay, so the resultant matrix which will be your AB will be of which dimension or will be of which order? So the order will be 2 cross 2. Okay, so this thing before performing multiplication we can understand. Now we need to know that 2 cross 2 that means total 4 elements will be there. Fine, no? 4 elements you have to be present in this, in this matrix. So, what those four elements will be there? To get to know that thing, what I am going to do? I am going to actually perform the multiplication of very first row of my first matrix with first column of my second matrix. Okay. So, this way you have to go. Fine. For the second row, second column will be there. For the third row, third column will be there. And because of that only, this condition should satisfy that the total number of column of your first matrix and total number of rows of your second matrix should be same. Okay, fine. So, what I am going to do? So, I am going to consider the first row of my first matrix and first column of my second matrix. And then, I am going to perform the multiplication. Okay, so for that what I am going to write down here, I am going to write down 3 into 1. Okay, it will be what here I am writing 3 into 1, this element and this element I am multiplying. Then plus the second element of your first row and second element of your first column that means 2 into 0 plus the third element of your first row and the third element of your first column of your second matrix i'm going to multiply that means 1 into 3 so it is nothing but 3 plus 0 plus 3 that means it is your 6 fine similarly what you are going to write down here what should be present here to get the value here we are actually going to perform the multiplication of first row with your second column and why we are doing so because I need to have the answer at this location okay so this location is what this location is your first row and the second column fine no this is your first row or else if I write down in this fashion suppose the resultant matrix is R R I J what is R I J this is R row 1 and then column 2 so that means first matrix first row and second matrix second column you have to consider okay so you are going to do again the multiplication in which manner 3 into 2 okay 3 into 2 this you are multiplying with your first element of the uh, second column then plus this 2 into 4 okay 2 into 4 plus this 1 into 6 1 into 6 so it is nothing but 6 plus 8 plus 6 so it is 18 plus 2 20 right this is your 20 
Now, can you tell me what you are going to write at this place? And what is this place? This place is if the matrix uh, element name I am giving R. So this R I J is which element? This R. Uh, this is this is your second row. So I is two, and then column is first. So two one. That means for your first matrix, the matrix A, you are going to consider second row, and for your second matrix, you are you are going to consider first column. So second row and first column multiplication will be written here. and that will be what that is 2 into 1 okay 2 into 1 plus 4 into 0 4 into 0 plus 2 into 3 fine no and then you are going to get 2 plus 0 plus 6 that is 8 so you are going to get here 8 now what you are going to write down here this location is what r i j is what this is your r i is i is what row row is 2 and then column is also 2 so that means what you are going to write here 2 into 2 plus 4 into 4 right 4 into 4 plus 2 into 6 plus 2 into 6 so this is 4 plus 16 plus 12 or this is nothing but 16 plus 16 32 so you are going to write here 32 fine so 628 32 628 32, 628, 32. fine so this way we perform the multiplication or product of two matrices okay so if i am going to perform the product of b and a okay fine so very first thing to start the multiplication we have to be very careful that can we perform the multiplication of b into a can we do it so for that i need to know the order of this matrix b so what is order of matrix b this is row 3 and then column 2 3 cross 2 matrix what is the order of this matrix a so rows are 2 only and then columns are 3 2 cross 3 can we perform the multiplication of these two matrices for that i need to check the first matrix column the total number of columns and the second matrix total number of rows are same or not yes they are same that means i can perform the multiplication with respect to ba okay so that means the fine that means the final matrix which i am going to get will be surely having 3 cross 3 dimension okay so the order will be 3 cross 3 right fine for 3 cross 3 matrix how many elements will be present in the matrix 3 into 3 will be 9 so total 9 elements will be present in your matrix okay we need to know that which all elements will be present here so that is also easy to know fine so if this is your ba so this place is what if i am writing down resultant matrix ij i is 1 and j is also 1 that means first row first column right so for that the very first matrix this matrix the row first row i have to consider okay and this second matrix first column i have to consider to fill in this place okay that means this is your first row and this is your first column and how you are going to perform the multiplication 1 into 3 okay plus 2 into 2 so this is 1 into 3 plus 2 into 2 you got something okay now if i have to fill this place what i have to do this place is what this is row 1 only but the column is 2 that means first matrix first row i have to consider right first row and then second matrix second matrix is a and its second column i have to consider right 1 2 so first matrix first row second matrix second column first matrix first row second matrix second column okay that means 1 into 2 okay plus 2 into 4 so 1 into 2 plus 2 into 4 so this same way you can do uh, the matrix multiplication okay fine suppose this place right how you are going to get the answer at this place this place is here this place is what this r uh, this ij is what i is your third row fine this is your third row and even column is also 3 first matrix is your b that means third row of b fine and then third column third column of matrix a you are going to consider third row and then third column so it is nothing but 3 into 1 okay 3 into 1 plus 6 into 2 plus 6 into 2 and then you got your answer okay so this matrix resultant matrix is what 3 cross 3 matrix so this way we perform the matrix multiplication so if you find this class useful please like and subscribe my channel thank you